So in this video, I want to talk about a classic of a series that came out in 2013 of October, and it was done by JC Staff, and it is a comedy, love triangle, romance, that is called Golden Time. Of course, you could tell from the, the title of the video. What, what did you think I was talking about? Bocano Pico? Ha! Huh. That's a that's 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 down the road. Maybe my Patreon members can blackmail me to review that. But of course, we're talking about Golden Time, and this is one of those series that honestly, it it has a fun history behind it because <laughs> it's loved, it's hated, and it's also memed. But also, apparently, season two has been speculated about for the last eleven years, which sounds really dumb when you actually think about it because there is a channel out there that would make videos about season two i have to talk about it because it's so funny there was a channel out there that would make videos speculating about season two and how it was going to come out and then they tried to say toradora was like a direct sequel or a, a side story or a prequel and it was it was hilarious to watch the videos it got so bad that people started memeing about it and like making videos on how bad that channel was because it was the only like content that did well on the person's channel it, it's still a classic of videos that i used to watch and you used to just be like you didn't watch it because you were interested in the chances of a season two from it you watched it because you knew that it was a lo load of bs so i just wanted to talk about because i think it's hilarious so golden time is one of those that is really a even though it comes under the tags comedy love triangle romance it's a drama there is so much heavy drama in this series and honestly it throws you a bit of a head spin because of course if you've watched the anime you know that the main protagonist has these memory problems he has this issue where he goes from his past memories to his current memories and he flip-flops and he's in love with the current girl that he's dating but then he kind of has feelings for linda who is his past girl that when his old memories come back then he's suddenly like oh my god but linda where are you linda and then his old mem his new memories disappear and it's like this massive head spin and so he has to fight between them both. And then at the end, he gets his memories back of, of course, the girl that he was currently dating when they break up. And then he goes back to her, gives her the ring, and they live happily ever after. But one of the things that I always wanted to see, and this was why I brought up the whole season two topic, was the kind of the other romances. Because the other romances were kind of interesting in how disastrous they were. Like, what happens to Mr. Stud Muffin that got, you know, dyed his hair, and the young little shrimp girl that didn't rejected him and then suddenly wanted to be with him after he moved on and wanted to go out with linda and linda's just been all awkward about it which is hilarious because linda like goes oh i'm not in love with you bondru but by the way i'm gonna reject every other guy and i rejected you but actually i'm gonna show all these hints that i actually did really have feelings all along one thing i noticed about this and this is what some of these female characters do in the anime is they reject the guy and then when they move on they suddenly go actually i had feelings for you all along can we get back together and it's like but i moved on no 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 you gotta dipshit go and come back to me because because now i have feelings for you i I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but it's the kind of the funniest thing about the series is how messed up some of the romance. And I mean, this is how real life works. So people say, this is unrealistic. No, this is just how messed up romance can be in real life. People do really dumb stuff. And this actually happened to me once where, funny story, story time with SB, I asked a girl out and she broke up with a guy. And two years later, by the way, two years later, it's not like I jumped on her like a week or a month later. No, it was two years after she broke up, I asked her out because I'd known her for years and I did like her. And she rejected me, saying that she needed more time to heal from her ex, which was hilarious, being that it had been two years. And then about four to six months later, I went out with another girl and she got upset that I had moved on after six months. And I'm like, you rejected me. What was I meant to do? S sit there for like five years hung up over you? So I moved on and then suddenly she got upset that I moved on and then ended up going out with another guy very quickly. I and I just, yeah, trust me, these kinds of things do happen in real life. I'm I'm a testament to that. So if you, if you want some crazy fun love stories, oh, I've got stories for days. Way more spicier than that. that that's a, a lowball one. So, hey, these kind of stories do make sense. And I do enjoy the story. I do like the fact that it is subbed and dubbed. It is a decent dub, by the way. It's not a bad dub. I know some people like to hate on all dubs, but not all dubs are bad. This one ain't that bad. I do also love the opening song. The second one is so, so goddamn good, which I actually have up on another screen that I was listening to uh, called The World's End. 
it's just such a good good song a second opening so it's not the first opening it's the second opening i really love it i listened to it on repeat and then when i was watching this again i was like oh this is like such a good classic the way it builds it up is like the dun 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 where she's like doing the steps and everything and she's chasing that like that star it really represents that feeling of that story of her chasing that man that she has feelings for but she's also scared as well because of all the things on going on and they do they make a good couple and stuff and that's the thing the love romance makes sense. The drama is somewhat compelling. It can feel a little bit over the top and forced at times, but I do feel like it adds for good drama. And I feel like if people say, oh, th this is stupid, you know, no other stu Look at, re uh, like, um, Western American, like, drama shows and how, like, over the top those can be. This is tame compared to that, but it still feels really hard, heavy going. So, and especially with the whole memory stuff, it kind of really throws it into swing. I do feel like, though, this anime could have dealt with more episodes. I feel like it would have been smart if they broke Golden Time into three seasons instead of just one with two cores and instead broke it into three seasons of a single core each to give it an extra 12 or so episodes because I feel like this could have dealt with a little bit more, like, longevity because it just felt like so much happened in such a compressed amount of time and there wasn't as much time to breathe between one next drama to the next drama to the next. It would have been nice if there was a little bit of like slowdowns and stuff going on in between, and then that big build up again. And also building up some of the other characters. And I know this is based on a light novel, and I assume it covered all of the light novel series, and this is probably like a full proper adaptation. I don't know how loyal it is to the material as well. It could be quite loyal, it could be quite disastrous, but it just would have been nice if there was a little bit more breathing space. It didn't have to be, it wouldn't have to be exactly 12 extra episodes. It could have been an extra three or four. It's just, there were some aspects where I felt like it needed a bit of breathing space between certain points in the story and also some more develop on some of the side characters as well so that you felt more connected to them and it would have made it a little bit more easier to kind of go through plus i just didn't want the story to end because it is a fun story but i do think this is a story that's not for everyone i think some people will love it and some people will absolutely despise it and i have seen that and i think a lot of that comes down to the characters and how likable they are particularly like the short hair girl she kind of interjects herself into situations that really aren't anything to do with her and she ends up misunderstanding a lot of stuff going on because of the complexity of all the things going on especially with Bonru and his memories and not everyone understanding what's going on but at the same time he doesn't communicate everything with everyone which I feel like a lot of those situations would have gone better if he had just communicated and that isn't so much an ivory tower issue that is just I think a lack of judgment on his part because of his fearfulness of wanting to communicate and I think if he communicated those issues everyone could have been there a little bit more to support him through those situations and maybe he could have gotten through it a lot more easier in the long term still an absolute phenomenal anime I enjoy it but I do love my romance drama comedies so I do think it's maybe a bit of bias but it can be a little bit much to kind of digest into even though it's only 24 episodes it's not like it's a six season series it's just there's a lot of like heavy drama jammed into it which is why i do find it funny that the drama tag is not on this series so again love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below what did you think of golden time i will be continuing to review new and old animes especially older animes i'm going for a long list of old classics that i will be reviewing i call it the list and it is around 500 animes so definitely stay tuned for more anime reviews to come because i have a long long road ahead and if you do want to support the channel definitely consider checking out the patreon where i have discord access where you can give me your suggestions on what you would like me to cover so again if you like this video hit the like subscribe and i'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video